One of the most common questions I get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did for our viewers on YouTube is create a free mentorship course that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they get started. But please take note that there is limited seating every single week. So please reserve your spot at myinvestingclub.co. The link is in the description. What's up, everyone? It's uh, Tom Dizzo here. Happy Sunday, everyone. And, uh, you know, I hope you guys are having a great weekend. Uh, yesterday, we had... Uh, we can man mentoring session it's in a new format and i think it was like really amazing uh you know with some of the charts that we have been reviewing and also you know the comments uh you know from the mods uh, myself as well uh so uh you know i just hope that uh, was a uh, useful to you guys and uh today's video you know i, I just want to kind of you know uh wanted to keep it you know short and sweet uh since uh you know um there's a lot of you know uh, topics been uh, have been uh, you know talking about before so i just want to uh go over one of my trade on friday and this is you know the setup is really straightforward and so uh you know and also i would like to show you guys uh, you know the chart which is i think this one it's you know i'm not talking about pnl wise but uh, you know uh, to the executions kind of part, you know, I'm really proud of this uh, because, you know, it it was basically, you know, really perfect, you know, when it comes to executions and it's it's been a while since I, I have, uh, you know, one of those. So I just, you know, want, want to share that and the reasoning behind that trade and that. So also I will maybe go over uh, maybe your thoughts or plans uh, for next week regarding the the sector or like uh the the craze that we are in with the wall street bats uh you know gma amc uh gme and and, and amc and uh, i'm gonna go over you know some of the thesis or like you know some of the thoughts that uh you know uh that i don't know it could might uh it might help you guys or or not but uh you know let's see so let's get on to this uh i want to bring up the chart here on <coughs> LMFA. Yeah, this is you know pretty straightforward. Uh, this stock, you know, is a known turd. Uh, if you see on the, the daily, I mean, it is uh, you know whenever you see a daily chart like this, I mean, you know it's a crappy company, right? And you see all those weeks, every time it's trying to push, you know, it fails, push, you know, came back right down you know push to this and close to, to this so every time stock uh, ran and usually ended up you know giving back all the 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 move on the same day usually you see those wicks so i know that if it gets to those kind of resistance line uh, there's a good chance for the stock to kind of fade right uh so because history tends to kind of repeat itself and that's you know exactly what the stock did uh you know in june here it went to like almost five <clears throat> and it gave back all uh the profits or like all the move uh and, and ended up closing at 275 right as you so five is 275 i mean <clears throat> excuse me <coughs> that's uh that's pretty you know a big uh kind of uh you know gain if if uh, you were uh, about to short this stock uh you know uh another day here uh three give back and close you know 194 so two like you know almost a, like a dollar you could get out of this stock uh you know so you know whenever you see the wicks like this i really like <clears throat> that type of daily chart so for me to kind of you know paint a bigger picture or like uh you know uh to paint the picture basically right and i'm not talking about dilutions or anything i think this one has something as well but i'm not gonna go go over that you know this is for me for the technical side since i'm intraday trader i just want to get in and get out and you know uh just uh, be quick with that and on the daily i like the daily and now just uh getting into the intraday right so a line is sand the stock has been moving around one seven or two whatever uh, this was like the support for the last, I don't know, and also ran before here. See, <clears throat> it uh, it went to like you know 4.5 and then ended up you know faded all day uh, on that day. So it went back you know 4.5 to like two. So there you go. You have another 
kind of uh, chart or like a, the history kind of really repeats itself so that's you know more like it gave me uh the the convictions on on that trade so but it doesn't mean that you know i'm, I'm going to short anywhere you know anywhere that stock pops no i just want you know the mic process has been the same uh, the concept has been the same uh you know let the top set first and then you can scale back the bounce right so and what it did here you know uh the first one trap short squeeze all the way you know make a new high here 3.5 <clears throat> and then rejects that this rejections that uh, to me this is uh you know stock kind of telling me that uh the stop like uh, the top has been set now i can scale back the bounce and risking over this uh you know <clears throat> pre-market high so i'm gonna bring on my executions uh, the chart Yeah, let me see. Uh, <coughs> where did I save it? Hmm. Sorry, guys. Gonna have to bring it. Yeah. So on this one that's uh my executions on that trade as you can see uh you know <coughs> uh the moment it couldn't broke this uh support i try to uh to just kind of start uh, scaling in my right? three line uh i was uh you know willing to scale all the way to like 3.3 .3. uh so as you see me here starting at three another one at 310 and i was you know uh still saving bullets for 3.2 and 3.3 .3 and stop out over that pre-market high whatever that was <coughs> but then uh stock ended up you know uh fading uh fading here so uh i start kind of uh, you know scaling out right my position so I cover some here cover some here cover some here based on this uh uh kind of uh support and once uh, the move or like you know once it gave me this rejections kind of candle right at the open i know that the stock is weak i know that you know that's the confirmation that i need and uh the moment it just went lower and lower i know i would be uh wanting to kind of add more size uh on that pop so uh the moment Hey guys, my name is Tosh Bradley. I'm one of the head mentors and moderators at My Investing Club. If you have any questions about getting started in trading, getting started in MIC, MIC in general, text me at 213-458-5997. This is not a robot. It is me directly on the other end of my business line, and uh, we'll get you in the club. We also have special promotions going on that I can get to you depending on your trading needs. Hit me up. Back to the video. The stock kind of popped into this 250 line to 60 line, uh, you know, holding half the low mark, right? Uh, of course, I still have bullets here, uh, 270, 280. See, uh, this is support, uh, you know, acting as resistance here, also resistance as well. Uh, so I was uh, pretty confident uh, into uh, like shorting, uh, adding more size into that bounce. And, you know, if like, let's say if my initial size here uh, for starter, right? And on this ad, I would probably go maybe twice or like maybe three times bigger than this bullet, okay? Because the stock gave me the confirmation already. You see this support? Here is the, another support, right? It's broken, right? The stock tank all the way from 3.1 to all the way to like uh, 2.4 here. So this is the support and also the resistance, right? and it cracked that already so that to me is the confirmation that i need okay the stock is broken likely the backside is in now i can really confidently uh putting more size that you know i want it instead of uh, you know on on this in the pre-market here i wouldn't be able to size in as much as i want it but on this bounce uh, it gave me really good, you know, the confidence. First of all, you know, I got some, uh, you know, profits out of this trade, right, already. And also stock, uh, you know, stock kind of conforming into the line and it's also uh, did exactly what I thought, you know, it would do, right? So there's no reason for me to not be able to take advantage of that and add more size into that bounce, right? And 
uh, you know, if it bounced back to 270, 280, even 290, I would, you know, be loading more even size on those because I know that this setup or like this edge, it's going to work, you know, maybe seven, eight out of 10, right? I mean, yes, anything could happen in trading. Worst case scenario is going to trap, reclaim that view app, which is, I think over here, that's three. If it's recon, you know, if if the stock was reclaiming, and you know, view app, it should, you know, uh, pop through that uh, view app and then grinding here and dip back into view app and grinding in higher, putting higher lows and you know, slowly grinding. Then yes, I would have to take the loss because you know that's clearly is you know the trap. But if the stock is this is like the healthy bounce right if the stock is bouncing like bouncing like this you know it's really healthy and there's nothing wrong with that you know there's no stocks that can go down forever they need to bound uh to bounce and you know in order to go lower basically right so this is a healthy bounce to me you know this is exactly what i expected the stock would do and the moment it kind of watch here i mean i know that i'm right but uh this is the two bullets that I have like way more size than the first initial, I mean, you know, one or two and four here. So, uh, but the key here is that you let the top set first, right? Broke this support, let the top set first, broke this support, and then you slowly scaling back the bounce, uh, you know, into that support becomes resistance. I mean, you know, I waited enough for the stock to kind of stay under view app to give me the confirmation before I even put on my starter. I didn't, you know, try to anticipate here. Okay. So the top is set here, may, maybe short the bounce, like the small bounce here and risking over this. No, I want to be a little bit safer. So that's why I waited, you know, to start to kind of confirm it to me under view app and then, you know, bouncing back and, and, uh, just to me, that's a safer, but, uh, this bounce, uh, you know, if you don't want to anticipate, if you are conservative, you want to be even better, uh, you know, so to be safer, uh, you know, I would suggest, okay, so wait for this, uh, you know, opening candle, right? Uh, try to push that, right? It's stuff right down from all the way to like, you know, 315 to like 261. I mean, that's, you know, pretty big stuff. Or I don't know if you want to call it death candle or whatever you want to call it. But, you know, that is a big stuff. Uh, uh, strong stocks if stock is going to make higher <clears throat> if stock is going to break that height of day it shouldn't stuff like that right unless it's really trap and claim you know uh reclaim all the way back but uh you know this ad is really stress-free and <clears throat> excuse me and also you can use more size too so that's my thoughts on it i really like this trade not just because the pnl wise but you know i kind of follow my plan and that's you know that's all I uh, I I really wanted right uh, sticking into the process and the profits will follow. It doesn't matter. I mean, you know the money is good, right? But following the process is what gonna get you in the long run, right? If you can do that uh, consistently day in and day out, this is the foundation, not the PNL, but following the process. You know, focus on trading well, and the rest will follow. You know, so this is uh, the lesson that, uh, you know, I want to kind of go over and <clears throat> I'm more proud of this trade because of the executions. You know, I had a plan. I did exactly that, you know, even, you know, with entries and exits. That's all, you know, I can wish for. Right. The moment I hit my target or like the moment, you know, I cover last piece here, you know, my target was like 2.2 and I did just that. And after that, you know, if you start tank to one or zero, you know, I could really care less. So there's nothing you can do about it. There's a, you know, as long as it fits your plan, you know, that's the perfect trade in my eyes. So there you go guys, LMFA. So now let's talk about, <clears throat> you know, the craziness that we've been seeing, you know, for the last few days and I was explaining, you know, in the chat, I think, you know, Alex, Bao, James, Harry, uh, like all of us been telling you guys to kind of avoid this, right? GME, Wall Street bats, you know, against hedge funds, uh, you know, whatever the news, whatever uh, the yeah, intention was. But the fact is that stock went, you know, from low to 57 to all the way to like 500 bucks, right? I mean, it, it, this this is just ridiculous. 
short squeeze kind of play and the only real edge i see was on the first red day and you know that's why that's why i took the trade and even though when i took that trade that you know it was one of my biggest day in in 2021 but you know i'm not talking about that but it's more like you know that was the only edge that i can see that i can trade off this kind of name gme amc right and i even go with options because you know even though the first red day is really good for uh you know that's my a plus setup again if you need anything if you still have uh yeah if you still didn't understand any, about any of this from this video you know just dm me anytime and i'll be happy uh, to kind of go over that with you again and uh, you know to answer all of your questions you might have all right guys so i see you guys uh next one and happy trading next week uh okay take care Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.